Hi guys and gals, James Stacy here with TheBlogToWatch.com for another video watch review. Uh, this goes along with a post which you can find at TheBlogToWatch.com and today we're taking a look at the Sunto Essential, specifically the Sunto Essential Copper. Uh, this is an interesting uh, kind of package from Sunto. What they're offering with the Essential line is kind of an, a premium upmarket version of their core uh, ABC or Altimeter Barometer Compass kind of outdoors adventure watch. Uh, so Sunto says this is an ABC watch for an urban weekend adventure. That's, I think I fall roughly into that kind of uh, demographic, and I had a great time taking this out into the wild. Uh, there's multiple versions, so uh, you get different screens. They're not all negative LCDs, and uh, the steel case uh, comes in a multiple number of finishes, so it's not just copper. Uh, but with uh, being a premium core, you're getting a steel case, uh a sapphire crystal and the essential line is actually made and finished uh, in Finland uh, alongside uh, Suntos Ambit 3 models uh, which are their GPS kind of multi-sport watches. I've had the Sunto Essential for most of the summer. Lots of hikes, lots of adventures, so let's dig right in. As the Essential is designed around the core lineup, uh, you're looking at a 49.1 millimeter wide steel case. 13.4 millimeters thick, 111 grams on the leather strap, uh, but Sunto lists 120 grams, so I suppose you could split the difference if you're really worried. A sapphire crystal. On the copper version, you get a negative LCD display, but there's a couple versions that have kind of your standard positive LCD display. 30 meters water resistance, and then just a laundry list of features, some of which I will show further in the video some of which I think you'll be pretty familiar with just from the concept of a digital watch. Uh, but the list includes an altimeter, barometer, compass, dual time, sunrise, sunset times, a chronograph, a timer, an alarm, a uh, temperature indication, a depth meter for free diving and snorkeling, that tops out at 10 meters, and uh, a storm alarm as well. So the basic UI is controlled by the view button to cycle through standard features and the mode button to switch you through the three main modes of time, alti and barrow, and compass um, for the ABC feature. So starting with view, you can have nothing on the lower display, or you can start cycling through other features, like your date, running seconds, and here on the external uh, circumference area of the LCD, you'll see a ticking seconds indication. Then we come to an additional time zone, Sunrise sunset data set by your city. Here we have a chronograph and when the chronograph is active you can see an indication of what button can now control the chronograph. So here we can start it and then you'll see you have the stop is also highlighted and now the reset is highlighted. We can reset it. Now you have a customizable countdown timer and then you're back to nothing. So you do have an area of the display at the top, then these large digits in the center, and then a customizable display at the bottom. It's a neat way to see a lot of data, and at no time are you pulled away from the actual current time, which is uh, really handy. So beyond that, uh, what you do see here is time, alti, barrow, and compass, and I'll go a little bit more into those in a minute, but the big thing to take away here is you cannot run the altimeter and the barometer uh, simultaneously. Uh, you can leave the watch in automatic mode and it will attempt to switch between the two, but Sunto keeps them separate because any drastic change in altitude will throw off the barometer and any uh, the same would work in the other uh, direction. So if you access the altimeter, here you suddenly have a bunch of data, which I'll explain in a moment, but if you wanted to say you've been hiking for a while, you've reached a, a rest point and you want to take a barometric reading, check the weather, you would press and hold, you would scroll down to Alti Barrow, and then you would go, click to profile, then you click it to barometer, and you would come back out. And here we have uh, the barometer screen that shows you a trend, uh, a customizable type of data below, and then the current reading and whether it's been trending flat, up, or down. Obviously, if it starts to trend down aggressively, you'll also get a storm alarm if that feature is enabled within the settings. 
So for accuracy, they do keep uh, the altimeter and barometer separate. And then you can cycle through to the compass as well, and then back to time. So with some of the basics out of the way, let's get to what it was like to actually use in real life, on the trail, etc. First up, um, I swapped out the leather strap for most of the trail and venture use. I ended up dunking this in the Squamish River when our canoe flipped over. And uh, I'm not sure the leather strap would hold up with, uh, you know, eight, 8 to 10 hours of sweat on a trail. Or, yeah, a dunk in a fast, cold river. Um, aside from changing the strap, the watch was basically ready to go. Um, it comes with a neat little adventure package as far as the accessories, which I'll show towards the end of the video. The negative screen is a bit of a pain. Certainly, if I was uh, going to buy uh, something like the, the Essential, I would go with a positive LCD. There's two or three models that have it. One of them is actually cheaper uh, than the copper. And uh, in actual sunlight and in day-to-day -day use, this is great. But in low light or in uh, the sort of indirect light that we're getting in this video, uh, the screen is just a little bit tough to see. I found myself using the backlight quite a bit, which is activated here. Um, and really adds uh, yeah, not a lot of glow that you're going to be able to see on the video, but it does make a difference in real life. Um, the watch is large, but it's not heavy or difficult to wear, and it's certainly not showy. I think the copper is a nice earthy tone. I think it suits the style of the watch, and the watch is beautifully made. Um, obviously, this is in a completely different price point from a base core or something uh, like most of the watches from Casio that might offer a similar feature set, but the case is gorgeous. It's like something, uh, you know, made in the same factory as an iPhone. It looks fantastic. Of course, they do make it in Finland. It has these nice hinged lugs, this saucer dish-like shape. The buttons are beautiful. Uh, this is as close to a luxury experience as I've ever come with uh, something like an adventure digital watch. Um, it's a little bit of a strange way to make an adventure digital watch, but I have no doubt that they'll find uh, some customers for it. It's beautifully made, it's really nice to use, and the UI is really solid. Uh, on the trail, let's take a look. On the trail for me, because I'm hiking on set hiking trails, the compass is really only useful if you get into more trouble than you planned for, but the altimeter is pretty much handy from the minute you leave the car. So you click into the altimeter, let's say I'm starting a hike, uh, you have options by clicking view here to cycle between your log. This is my one of my favorite features because I can watch the current time up on the upper screen, my current altitude in on great big digits in the middle, and then a log of my, you know, like a chronograph basically of the hike down below. And then at any time that you need to, you can cycle and see your cumulative gain. and a temperature. Now this temperature will be thrown off by that of your wrist. So if you really want an accurate temperature, I'd suggest taking the watch off for some time, maybe while you're camping or resting, and you'll get a better reading if that's an important uh, piece of data for you to have. The log is fantastic, and with that you get three pieces of information which best my rangement, which of course would require a series of button presses to have access to, say, your chronograph uh, and your altimeter and in those cases you're switching between two kind of main functionalities on the watch and uh, with the essential with the core UI from the essential you're getting it all in one view which I found really handy and something that's worth considering if you're buying a watch like this to go out on the weekends and experience maybe some local mountains or some hiking some trails etc uh, it really is a nice way to uh, take that in uh, accuracy is fantastic as long as you um, calibrate the altimeter. Uh, so these barometric altimeters are not exactly known for keeping their calibration. So when you start at a trailhead or really anything, you want to have a reference value, whether that's a sea level or a known uh, height. So let's say right here we're showing 38 meters. Let's say I know I'm starting a trail at 50. I can go into the settings, go down to Alted Barrow, provide a reference, provide an altitude, and then I can actually just say like, I'm currently at 50, save it, back out, and now we're at 50 and I can start the hike knowing that the accuracy is going to be fantastic. I mean well within a meter on a number of peaks that I uh, found over this summer around Vancouver. So from St. Mark's to uh, Seymour, 
to High Falls Creek way out in the Squamish River Valley. Uh, I put this through its pace, a lot of kilometers, a lot of hours on trail. Uh, beyond the altimeter, in uh, when we were hiking in High, in High Falls Creek, uh, we did lose the trail repeatedly, and we ended up using uh, the compass to carry us out. And it gives you um, just a simple heading information. And then again, with view, you can toggle between the current time, your kind of south or southwest sort of heading. And then here you can actually set a... Um, you can set um, a desired heading of travel and as you move it will tell you if you're on or off so if you're making your way especially if you're making your way in the dark or in some of the worst situations uh, as long as you had a headlamp or were willing to hit the light each time this is going to allow you to take very fast uh, readings even if let's say you forget the number that you pulled off your map if you couldn't remember the exact heading you could enter it and then it's going to uh, essentially give you some guidance to keep you on that heading which is a neat feature and uh, not one that I think I would hope to use but one that I think is really nice to have and that's kind of the the score with these ABC watches it's a handful of features that you might actually use and a handful that'll be really nice to have if you need them and then we're back to time so the Sunto Essential Core is a premium uh, ABC watch and I would say as far as a case standpoint goes it's the absolute best example made in its class. Um, it's beautifully finished. It's nothing like a Casio or a Timex or the more plasticky designs from uh, even other Suntos or the Garmin's. Uh, you're getting a really great UI with a nice feature set. Um, whereas Casio might offer you atomic timekeeping, you get a lot more information on one display uh, with this core. Uh, display style and uh, it's a really wearable watch it's very comfortable I think it's uh, you know it could suit somebody's kind of adventurous casual everyday style and could make for a really great kind of day-to-day -day watch that also keeps up nicely for a weekend adventure for me I would wear a watch like this almost exclusively on the weekends for my adventures and it did beautifully for that use like I said I got it wet I got it covered in sweat I got it covered in mud uh, you know, we did thousands of meters of elevation over uh, the summer and uh, really just a great watch all the way around. Uh, being a premium of anything, but certainly a premium ABC watch, you're looking at a premium price tag at 800 US dollars for the copper version. There's also a handful of versions within the essential range that are $700, but that's basically the range for the essential. And for that price, you're getting the watch and the leather strap is shown as well as this accessory kind of adventure kit. So you get this uh, buckled roll, and within that you get a pencil, you get a uh, cleaning cloth, and then you get a kind of notebook to journal all of your adventures. I don't think this adds a huge value, but I do think it is a pretty cool way to offer some packaging. There's a spot in there to carry the watch as well. That's beyond just the cardboard box that you know a lot of these watches come in you can read my review at a blog to and in the final paragraphs I go kind of in depth on the competition basically uh, to summarize core models start at 299 they start to become competitive with the essential at about five to six hundred dollars and then at seven hundred dollars you have my preferred model if you wanted what I believe would be basically the perfect uh, most wearable most dialed in version of the core which is the essential slate um, identical to the essential copper except that you're looking at a white metal um, kind of matte exterior and a positive LCD display which is going to perform better in a wider variety of light which is uh, would be an improvement over the essential copper um, although I do really like the aesthetic of the large black display with the the uh, copper outline this wears so much differently than a G-Shock or some of the Timex running watches I have, things like that. It really is um, a rather distinct wrist presence. It's really, really comfortable. It looks great. Um, it doesn't look or feel like you're wearing kind of you know a plastic box with a display. The articulating lugs are very comfortable, make the watch really easy to wear. The buttons never seem to be accidentally pressed by the back of my wrist despite the 49.1 millimeter width and all in all 
yes, you're looking at essentially one of the more expensive options within the ABC range, but it's also a very dialed in platform, one that I really enjoyed taking on adventures and wearing to the office, and a really fun watch from uh, an innovator like Sunto. You can catch my full review on a blogtowatch.com pretty soon, and until then, if you enjoyed this video, just click like below, and we'll keep trying to make more great videos for you to watch. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.